this year comes to a close and we get ready to welcome the new year, reviving the Islamic spirit is exactly what we need. How much is our spirit, our spiritual lives in need of revival? So we say Alhamdulillah for this excellent effort that is being done here today. Our Prophet told us in the hadith is that Allah will send at the turn of every century a person or persons, people, that will renew this religion for it. Am I excited for the RIS? Uh, of course. Everything you've been through, good, bad, or otherwise, you have survived. So while we're surviving and while we're going beyond, let's build our mindset so we can not only stay positive, but be successful in the deen and the dunya. And when you choose your mindset, you change your world. I find the message so inspirational, so uplifting. It's my chance to uh, recharge my spirit. Uh, the environment, the feel, the vibes. Every year gets more and more inspirational. It's a very great experience. The strongest signs of the unity of Muslims. Really inspiring. It's a great sense of unity. We're having a fantastic time. It helps us remember we're supposed to be. It's such an amazing experience and so heartwarming. There's nothing in the world like it. It's just been a fantastic experience and I can't wait to come back next year. P. Newton says, it's not that we have a death wish, but it's that we have such a strong desire to live in peace and with human dignity that the existence without it is impossible. A form of Islam that brings people to the truth as readily and melts hearts as quickly as did the way of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, whose way is valid for us here just as it was them in that time. can honestly say I put more love The world needs you despite what anyone says because Allah does nothing in vain. Allah Ta'ala did not put you in this world without a purpose. So get up, serve others and you'll find deep meaning in your life. We find our own strength sometimes by being there for others. And there is a real power and beauty in that, in that humanity. The sheer quantity of the crowds, the vibe of the crowds, praying together, listening to a lecture together. I mean, SubhanAllah, you feel a sense of pride that you belong to this ummah. I not it was great to be back here at the RIS convention in Toronto, not just because Toronto is one of the best cities in the world, but because in the Muslim community, we need to have some frank conversations. Where else do you get to come along and hear speeches where people talk about the evils of sectarianism, the need to combat discrimination and hate speech of all types against all communities? Reviving the Islamic spirit, I think that it is singularly one of the most important educational initiatives in the North American uh, Muslim community.
The future is yours. Don't let anyone tell you you don't belong. God himself placed you on this earth. No one has the right to tell you you don't belong. People are stuck in the dunya. Shame and honor becomes the catalyst through which we look at one another. We can't tolerate people who are of different races, different ethnicities, different classes. You and I have to decide whether or not we're going to actually start being Muslim. I need you. You need me. Male, female, young, old, it doesn't matter. You all have your contribution to make. Muhammad Ali made his, Malcolm X made his, Mahmoud Abdul Rauf made his. We've lost our moral conscience when four countries in 2016 spent $33 billion buying weapons of mass destruction. It only takes $50 billion to end hunger and poverty in this world and we don't say anything. We have lost our moral conscience. One point six billion Muslims, a fifth of humanity, Sunni and Shia, with the same God, the same prophet, the same book, the same Kaaba, and yet we allow politics, geopolitics, tribalism, racism, to blind us to that sameness. Our God is one, our prophet is one, our qibla is one, our book is one. We are one ummah under Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Choice, my body.